Don Schanzenbach here, and today I'm thinking about one reason to press on in the building of the kingdom. And what got me thinking about this is the Lord's Prayer. You know, Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so his expectation was that his kingdom would be built on earth. It, it's not just a kingdom that we built in heaven. We're not just waiting for some faraway date and some faraway time when his kingdom will be perfected or when his kingdom will be built, but we're to be building his kingdom on earth. Now, in the, uh, the next few phrases in that prayer, Jesus tells us that we should pray for our daily bread and that we should forgive our debtors as, uh, as they need to be forgiven. And so there are some things in that prayer that apply to daily life and how we're going to live in this world in order to be successful kingdom builders, to be the people that God wants us to be. But towards the end of the prayer, uh, what does he say? He says, for thine is the kingdom, uh, the power and the glory. And so he mentions the kingdom at the beginning and at the end, thus making his prayer a kind of a kingdom sandwich we could call it, and the, uh, the purpose, the drive, and, and the, the direction of the prayer is that we're supposed to be kingdom builders. We're supposed to be thinking about the building of the kingdom. And so that's our duty. Our duty is to work for the coming of the kingdom.